Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about Particle Model, Understanding Convection, and Conduction. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 10. This lesson is under the Matatag Curriculum. By the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the particle model of heat transfer through convection and conduction The second one is to demonstrate the heat transfer experiments using convection and conduction And the third one is to appreciate the rule of heat transfer in everyday life by answering the reflection of learning in activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will ask the following questions. Opening of understanding, so let us start with the introduction to heat transfer. So the movement of thermal energy from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature is what we call the heat temperature or the heat transfer. Conduction, it is the heat transfer through direct contact between the particles. The third one is the convection. It is the heat transfer through the movement of fluids like liquid or gases. And the fourth one is radiation. It is the heat transfer through electromagnetic waves such as sunlight. The following are the particle model of matter. So the first one is the solid. So particles are tightly packed and vibrate in fixed position. The second one is the liquid. So particles in liquid are closer together than in gases but can move around freely. And the third one is the gas. So gas particles are widely spaced and move freely in all directions. Kinetic energy, these are the energy of motion possessed by the particles. Whereas temperature, it is a measure of the average kinetic energy of particles in a substance. And heat transfer, it is the flow of thermal energy from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature. The following are the conduction, particle vibrations, and heat flow. So heat source... Particles at the heat source have more kinetic energy. The second one is collision. So vibrating particles collide with neighboring particles transferring energy. And the third one is the heat flow. So heat energy flows from the hotter region to the cooler region. Conductors, these are the materials that easily transfer heat energy through conduction and they have tightly packed particles. Whereas the insulators, these are the materials that resist heat transfer through conduction and they have widely spaced particles. The following are the convection, fluid movement, and heat transfer. So the first one is that fluid is heated from below. So particles near the heat source gain kinetic energy and it moves faster. The second one is that heated particles become less dense and rise. And cooler, denser particles seem to take their place. And the third step is that this cycle of rising and sinking particles, it creates a continuous convection current transferring heat energy. Buoyancy, this is the upward force exerted on the object immersed in the fluid, whereas the thermal currents, these are the convection currents, 
caused by the uneven heating of the fluid. The following are the applications of conduction and convection. So the first one is cooking. So conduction is used to transfer heat from the stove top to a pan or cooking food. The second one is the heating systems. So convection currents are used to distribute heat throughout a building. Conduction and convection are crucial processes for heat transfer, driven by the kinetic energy of particles. Understanding these principles is essential for understanding various phenomena, from everyday cooking to the operation of sophisticated heating and cooling.